All of you all cannot stop talking about this darn dress. The huge debate on Facebook and Twitter, and even right here in our newsroom. I mean, there have been fights. People, it's a dress. What color is it? It's up for debate. But how can a dress that is seen as white and gold to some look blue and black to others? Well, Elizabeth Cohen is here, and we're going to discuss a little bit about the science behind the controversy, because a lot of people are like, enough with the dress. But what's really interesting, we sort of got in like a philosophical conversation of why, how could this be possible that people would see it in two different ways? You know, there are real scientific reasons for this, and I'm going to give you sort of a strange comparison. Do you know how some people love cilantro, but to other people it tastes like soap? Huh. It's yes. our senses are finely tuned and our genes are behind it. So when it comes to vision, there are these cones in the back of our eyeballs that perceive color. And just for genetic reasons, we perceive it slightly differently. Usually we see it the same, but sometimes it's slightly different. And this dress seems to have sort of honed in <laughs> on that slightly different part of it. So it's really, it's just your genes. I mean, it's nothing more than that. And maybe that's why people have been so fascinated by it, because they didn't realize that would be the case. But what I was curious about, does this make us, whoever's in Team White or <laughs> Team Blue, uh -huh. does it make us, you know, does something separate? Are we more smart if we're one or the other? No, I don't think there's any value judgments that come with what team you're on. Now, there are some people who are colorblind, and they're mm -hmm. sort of way at the extreme. But for most of us, it's just these little tiny differences. And what's so strange is that this dress honed in on those little tiny differences. But it's not like if you have this gene, you see the dress this way, and you're super smart. And if you have the That's other gene, like, yeah. Hey, no. I'm the smart team? <laughs> no. Unfortunately <laughs> not. Um, okay, well, the thing is, is that the dress manufacturer, who I think wins in this because this yes, brand sure. is going bonkers over this, uh -huh. spoke about really the controversy ending. Here is her verdict. I can officially confirm that the color is royal blue with black trimming. <laughs> so, yeah. So, apparently, there's no debate, but I don't know about you, Elizabeth. I see white and gold. You? I see white and gold as well. My husband sees blue and black. I told him he was just plain wrong. Um, now, what's interesting <laughs> is that we have four daughters, and they were split. Two of them saw white and gold, and two of them saw black and blue. And a doctor I was talking to said, see, there's DNA for you, right? Two of them got his in this particular way. Two of them got mine. I think what's also interesting to point out is that some people are looking at different pictures of the dress. Uh -huh. and so in different pictures, there's different lighting. So to really sort of get the right view of this, you have to be looking at the same picture as your friend. There is the science behind the dress. You're welcome, Elizabeth <laughs> Cohen. Thanks so much Thanks. for being with us.